just got done reading chapter one of a brand new manga that just debuted in Shonen Jump magazine called Iron Knight, and I just had to talk about this manga. I've been waiting for a while to see when is Jump going to bring the next battle manga, what are they going to do next as far as fighting series goes, and just really good series. And I checked this one out based on a recommendation from one of my good friends, and I was just like, holy shit. So it starts off and it just, it seems like, you know, regular type of manga. And I was like, okay, what's so good about this? And about halfway through chapter one, the entire series flips itself over and it just becomes absolute mayhem. This is one of the darkest series I've seen in a while to debut in Shonen Jump. And to be honest with you, if you're a fan of Attack on Titan, you will probably enjoy this so far. Based off chapter one, I only can talk about chapter one because that's all that's out right now. It was very reminiscent of that. Pretty much in this manga, you have demons destroying the world. You have everyone turning into demons. You have just carnage and chaos, mystery like hell. So it is very similar to Attack on Titan. And if you love that series, you will probably enjoy this one as well. Now, the main character, Tepe, he's a little kid. So it's kind of like, I, I wonder how dark they can really go with it. Because at the end of the day, he is a little kid. The battle that he has in this particular first chapter is freaking epic. He goes crazy, goes in. And there's mystery as well regarding his father. Because his father's a detective. And at some given point, he tells him, yo, I'm not going to be able to come home anymore. And he's like, yo, what the hell's going on? And then all of a sudden, after like a blackout, he just wakes up. And the whole city is just destroyed. Carnage, demons running rampant. And then it's just like... It's such a good setup for a first chapter, and it just seems so dark and such a radical departure from what we've been getting from Shonen Jump for, like, the past year or more. So I was just like, holy fuck. Now, again, I'm a little bit worried because, first of all, I read a manga called Seraph of the End, and I was really hype about that. But then after the first chapter or two, it started going into this, like, typical school setting, kind of like a Blue Exorcist in a way, except Blue Exorcist is really awesome at times. And I was like, oh, okay, with this one, I'm really hoping it doesn't go in that direction because I will be really severely disappointed. As of right now, I only see the one survivor, this kid, Tepe. There's demons, he's going crazy, he doesn't know what to do. It's like, it seems like craziness. But if they do go in that direction, then it'll be very disappointing. I'll be like, oh, fuck this manga. But as of right now, based off chapter one, this is the next enjoyable and interesting series that I see from Shonen Jump that any a fan of battle manga, any fan of Attack on Titan, again, you might be like, maybe you might feel it's a bit too similar because, like, the demons are just naked. This one demon grabs the dude and just jumps out the window. And apparently, uh, the reason why they're demons is because it's always been in humanity and they hid it for so long. There's just so much to do with this series and so much good buildup already that it can go anywhere. The sky is the limit as far as this manga goes. And I'm just hoping that they don't hold this guy back. If his plans are to make this dark, let him do what he has to do. Like, my biggest concerns right now with this series is the restrictions and limitations that Stone and Jump will put on him. I wouldn't be surprised if the main character was supposed to be older, but they told him, yo, at least make the character younger or whatever so he can make it his own. And just as of right now, things is looking very promising with this manga. I recommend check out Chapter 1. That's all that's out as the recording of this video. It's freaking awesome so far, and it's like... Yeah, Shonen Jump might have another one with this one, people. Let me know what you think. If you read it thus far, again, it's called Iron Knight. Tell me if you read it. What do you think of it? Do you think it's too similar to Attack on Titan? Do you think that it was inspired by Attack on Titan? Me, personally, I think this was inspired by Attack on Titan. I think the author was like, yo, I love that concept. So he took the concept and he's building it into his own, this chalkboard that if you write on it, it like grants wishes. It's like, yeah, he's doing his own stuff. But he has a very similar element to it. And if you haven't read it, will you check it out based on my recommendation? Again, it's looking promising. Only one chapter in. What do you got to lose? But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Iron Knight. Because right now, this is the first manga since Hungry Joker to debut in the Shonen Jump magazine. Not like uh, the Natsu no Taizai. That's in a different magazine. For me to actually get excited about it. It's like, Jump, please. Let, let this one live. Don't kill it off with the rankings and all that other dumb shit. Please. I'm for the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.